Good morning, y'all. Today is Friday, August the 13th, and it is 621. I just started Ubering and door dashing, and the very first order was this one, going to McDonald's for $7.75, and I usually get started about 7, 7.30, 8 o'clock, usually don't start this early because in the past it's been so dead, but I thought, well, you know, school's in, there might be kind of hectic for everyone, and they're trying to order food for the kids and get them off to school, so we'll see, I'm going to see how this works out, but that's my first order, and it's 6.22. Okay, I got another order. It was only $5.50 for Burger King. Continue on 4th go. Street for three quarters of a mile. I got to go 4.4 miles. And yeah, it's a little low. But the orders are kind of slow right now. I'm going to tell you all a secret. You got to treat these people like they're sitting at your table in a restaurant. And you're waiting on them. Now... You make sure they have everything they need and they want. You can even write them and ask them if there's any special requests before you leave the restaurant. And that gives another that gives another level of service. So just a, a hint. Y'all want to do better? You treat them like they're your customer at a table. Okay, I got that Burger King dropped off. And now I'm on my way to Taco Bell. And it's only $4.75. But I deliver this guy all Take the, the time. Take the next ride onto Duncan Road. And it's only two miles. So, you know, I mean, what do you expect? You know, it's almost $5 for two miles. And it's easy peasy, just... The traffic's not bad or anything. You just pick it up, go drop it off, and you're done. And like I say, when it's a little slow like it is this morning, I'm very happy with that. Because I'm going to tell you something. Um, recently, within the last five years, I drove for a, a semi company, a trucking company, and I only got 46 cents a mile. Now, it's true that they had to pay for the fuel and everything. But it's also true that I was away from the house a week at a time. So, if I can make a dollar or even a little bit less a mile, I'm okay with it because I work all week there and maybe make, I mean, away from home and maybe make twelve to $1,400 a week. Now I can do that here. And it's true, I'm paying for my own fuel. But when you're out there on the road, things are double the price when you go to the truck stops. It takes everything you can make to make a living. So here, I'm local. I can eat in the house. It's not as expensive. I can sleep in the house. I'm home with my family. And it costs me a couple hundred dollars a week in gas at the most. Well, not even that. I'm probably spending $40 every two days. So if... If I drove six days, which I don't, that would be four times three, 120. So, you know, okay, we'll say $120 a week I'm spending on fuel at the most. I'm very pleased with that. And get to stay home, too. It's true, I'm wearing my car out, but, you know, it's just part of it. When you decide what you're going to do, you have to make decisions. And I decide that I'd rather stay near near home alright on our way to Taco Bell <clears throat> ok it is 7.54 just turn the Uber on and as soon as I turned it on I got my first Walmart order of the day Walmart pickup and I took a picture of it 
So you can see it right there. So, I guess that's the sign that Walmart's going to be very busy today. We'll see. Well, that was a quick pickup. Wow, it sounds bright. That was a quick pickup. I mean, I got here and they brought it right out. So, on my way to drop off the first one. Well, I delivered that one. It was in an apartment and, of course, it was the second story. I have come to a conclusion. People that live on the first floor do their own shopping. The only people that orders their groceries and food just about in these apartments to be delivered is people that don't want to climb the steps. <laughs> you know, I can't complain. I mean, I, I need the exercise. I really need the exercise. Or maybe I just need to cut back on some food. Exercise, cut back on food. Exercise, cut back on food. I think I'll do the exercise. Well, the uh, customer called me about this McDonald's order and said they had put the wrong address in their app. And so uh, they asked me to deliver it. I don't know how much farther it is or anything, but I know where the place is. It's a, uh, And so I'm going to go ahead and deliver it there. And just in case they say they didn't get the order or something, I went ahead and took a picture of their text. So if there's any mistake or anything, and you can see uh, the, the large order the large amount of food they ordered so and it was 650 so I do expect a hidden tip on this one and right as I was about to push go to go to the destination I got another order for um, to go Uber order to go to Starbucks so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this one off first because it's probably within a couple of miles from each other or less and then I'll head down to Starbucks and pick up the other order so I went ahead and uh, not take any more orders on DoorDash until I drop off the Uber order that's why I run two apps if I get one now sometimes uh, if I get one I'll watch and if I can get another one going the same direction I'll take it but a lot of times if it's getting to be where it seemed to be kind of complicated I just go ahead and uh turn it off because you know turn one of them off because it does get to be a problem sometimes well that was a large McDonald's order one of the biggest things I've taken and they did not throw an extra tip in there but that's okay I'm staying busy and I still made my well it's a little bit cheaper because they wanted me to bring it this extra distance there's a McDonald's about two miles from here, and they thought it was coming from that McDonald's. But it actually came from a McDonald's that was about five miles away. That way. Never understood why DoorDash and Uber does that. Why they order food like... I've had Uber order food here in Alcoa and have me take it all the way to Knoxville and pass two or three restaurants of the same kind. What's the deal? All right, on to Starbucks. Y'all see that car behind me? Uber, Uber close. And what I have found out is a lot of people that tailgate, and they don't mean anything by it. They're not being aggressive or anything. That's just the way a lot of them drive. Okay, I have Tracy's order. Got to be real careful about these orders from Starbucks and McDonald's. Because they put them in a bag, and if there's only one drink, the bag wants to tilt over. So you got to always hang on to them. Real pain. Anyways, uh, we're on our way to drop them off. <clears throat> okay, got that one delivered. It was going down a very steep grade. Anytime there's a steep grade, instead of trying to get out of the car with the 
grade like going with the nose of your car up in the grade either back into the driveway I always try to leave it where my car is pointing down rather than up because it's hard to get out when you're fighting the door and especially if you've got a big arm load of stuff and drinks and stuff it's hard to get out of that door when it's falling back against you so I park to where the door stays open and it's a lot easier to get out too and your little hint y'all might want to remember that okay I'm on Chick-fil-A waiting on my order to be done and while I was sitting in here I got two orders to go to Walmart or Walmart pickup so I went ahead and paused my DoorDash and as soon as I deliver it I'll go over to Walmart and pick up those those two or three orders I, don't know. I know I got at least two in well that was a workout I'd go up third floor twice <laughs> Twice, I went up the first stairwell and it was the wrong stairwell, so I had to come back down and go up the next next stairwell. Really freaky how they got these apartments. Just don't make sense. Anyhow, headed on to Walmart. Hey, I got these two Walmart orders, and I got that mirror there too. Big old long mirror. Gotta make sure I don't drop it and break it. Some $10 tip action, that's what I'm talking about. Some $10 tip action, that's what I'm talking about. Well, we got some more Walmart action. Going to the Alcoa Walmart. Pick up some groceries for Amanda. All right, there's Mariah. She is Ubering today. Also, she's got two orders here for a Walmart. And, um, so we're Ubering together, but we're in different cars. She likes it that way. Ain't she as cute as the speckled pup in the little red wagon? No. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have a good night. God bless you. And uh, by the way, don't forget, I got another channel called the Ratlet Family Lawns. And I'd like y'all to look at it, too. You might enjoy it. I appreciate it. I'm trying to get to a 1,000 subscribers. And uh, been climbing slowly, slowly. I know there's nothing really interesting about an old man out working his tail off. <laughs>